Now, your news on the go. It is a sad start to the day for Syracuse fans. The Orange are packing up early and making the trek home from the ACC tournament. As you bounce after one round on the road, if you didn't stay up to watch the game, you saved yourself a night of misery. NC State knocking out the Orange by nearly 20 points. 83-65 to was the final, even with Cuse out. There's still one men's program in Central New York you can add to your bracket. Colgate cruising to its fourth straight Patriot Tournament title. Walking away with a 74-55 win over Lehigh. The victory marks the Raiders' fourth straight trip to the NCAA Tournament, as well as a fifth Patriot League title for the head coach, the most for any coach in conference history. From the court to closures, while you slept, state DOT crews started taking down overhead signs on the southbound side of 481 in DeWitt. Next up is northbound. That means starting at 6 tonight, I-481 will go down to one lane between the exits to Jamesville and Kirkville Road East. Crews will also be shutting down the exit to DeWitt as well as the on-ramp from 690 East to 481 North. We're told work should be wrapped up before the morning rush. Developing overnight, we've been following a fire in Syracuse. The call coming in right around 3 this morning in the 1400 block of East Fayette Street, not far from Harvey's Garden. We're still trying to piece together exactly what happened here. Our photographer says police and fire officials were in the backyard of a home where a car appears to be partially scorched. Staying in Syracuse, police are trying to figure out how a woman got hit by a pickup truck downtown and died. It happened right around 345 yesterday afternoon at the intersection section of South Townsend and Harrison Streets. Police tell us the 35-year-old woman was taken to Upstate Hospital where she died. The driver stayed at the scene and, according to police, was cooperative. At this time, police are not releasing her name or more details on the accident. They tell us the investigation is ongoing. Up in Oswego County, a man and his dog back on land this morning after being pulled from the cold waters of Oswego Harbor. City firefighters responding to Cahill Pier just after 7.30 last night. The man had jumped in to save his dog when he began struggling himself. A quick-thinking bystander called 911. They then threw the man a piece of clothing to hold on to. Rescuers were able to get the man and his dog into a Coast Guard boat, and they were brought back to land. About a thousand family dollar locations will be closing down. That from Dollar Tree, which bought its rival nearly a decade ago. More than half of the closures will come in the next few months. Dollar Tree blames a tough fourth quarter last year. It's not known which stores are on the chopping block, so it's not clear if any central New York locations will be shutting down. And speaking of dollars, millions of dollars are at stake at the Turning Stone. Registration begins today for the World Series of Poker. Thousands are expected at the casino for the 12-day tournament. And with more than $2.5 million up for grabs, it's the biggest tournament to date.